All right. Chapter six. N. Shits it up, preps. Okay. P.S. I w would not update a bit you give me good revows. <laughs> what the fuck is a revows? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, and so I actually, while you were reading, I looked up what prep means, and I got two different different definitions. Want to hear them? Go ahead. <laughs> All right. So, number one, prep. Uh, prep girl is a girl who is incredibly preppy, overwhelmingly nice. So, you know, that can make sense, I guess. And the second definition I got was preps. The wealthy class of teens often cruelly capitalize on their superiors' access to money and social power, which builds, um, which builds ton, which builds animosity with the less privileged classes. I mean, I, uh, I guess. <laughs> um, I guess it's either this one or the preppy girl one. Which one she <laughs> intended it for it to be? It's up for interpretation. Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> All right. Anyway, to continue forward, what dumb voice should I do this time? Oh my god. Uh, I, okay, I was thinking about doing a really bad toad impression. You want to hear it? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right, let me get myself ready. Wada! Okay. The next day, I opened up in my coffin. I put on a black mini skirt that was all ripped up around the end, and a matching top with red skulls all over it, and a high heel boots that were black. Okay, nope, nope, nope. My voice already hurts doing that. <laughs> okay, uh, what other voice should I do? Um, let's see. Okay, I'll do Popeye the Sailor Man, I guess, which sounds similar. I pop by the sailor man. I put on two pairs of skull oh, skull earrings and two crosses in my ears. I pr I spray painted my hair with purple. I eat mice. I'm one tough kazooka who hates all palookas, and everywhere I go, they're there. Such as these people around or Hogwarts school in this horribly made fan fiction. In the great <laughs> halls, I ate some Count Chocula cereal with blood instead of milk. That sounds really freaking disgusting. Why the hell would anybody have that combination? <laughs> okay, okay, enough gimmicks. And a glass of red blood. Uh, again, that. first of all, that's redundant. Secondly, I hear if you drink a lot of what? blood, that will cause... I hear drinking a lot of blood can seriously upset your stomach. <laughs> well, I mean, she's a vampire, I guess. <laughs> but still, I mean, I mean, okay, imagine this. If you were a vampire and you were eating cereal with blood and then having a glass of red blood, wouldn't you find that a little redundant? Yeah. <laughs> or, I don't know, maybe I'm I guess you wanted really something. I guess you really wanted extra blood. I guess, uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm surprised of all cereal she picked Count Chocula because... I mean, I'm sure there's edgier cereals out there you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, anyway, I mean, I guess you haven't heard of Semikichios, but oh well. Anyway, anyway, continue on. Alright. Suddenly, someone bumped into me and all the blood spilled all over my top. Bastard! I shouted angrily. I regretted saying it when I looked up because I was looking into the pale white face of a gothic boy with spiky black hair with red streaks in it. He was wearing so much eyeliner that that I was going down his face. What? You, you what? were wearing so much eyeliner that you yourself were going down his face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright then. Sure. Alright then. He didn't have glasses anymore, and now he was wearing red contact lessons, just like contact lenses, just like Draco's, just like Draco's. Oh, okay, <laughs> just like Draco's. Okay. And then there was no scar on his forehead anymore. <laughs> he was. He had a manly stubble. 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 Am I mistaken? Stubble's like a, like a little. 
I don't know. It's like a five o'clock shadow type thing. <laughs> oh, I guess so. I, w I was thinking maybe like a cleft chin, but oh well. Anyway. <clears throat> Don't read this without water, kids. Uh, Alright. He had a stubble chin. He had a sexy English accent. He looked exactly like Joe Madden. <laughs> <laughs> he was so sexy that my body went all hot. When I saw him, kind of like an erection, only I'm a girl, so I didn't get one used to go. <laughs> Dude, it's, it's not uncommon for women to get turned on by things. I, I hope so. Uh, but then again, I wouldn't be so surprised that this girl was so young to where she... Never mind, I'm going to stop before I dig my hole. I dig a hole <laughs> Before I dig myself <laughs> into a hole, my god, someone's gonna take what I said out of context. Alright. Anyway, I'm so sorry, he said in a shy voice. I I don't remember how to do an English accent, pardon me. That's alright. What's your name? I questioned. My name's Harry Potter. Although most people call me vampire these days, he grumbled. Okay. Why? I exclaimed. Because I love the taste of human blood, he giggled. <laughs> well, I love the I love the taste because I love the taste of human blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Really? Well, I'm a vampire too. I confessed. Really? He whimpered. Yeah! I roared. <laughs> we sat down to talk for a while, then Draco came up behind me and told me he had a surprise for me, so I went away with him. <laughs> oh my god. The, the, upper, the upper part of my sinuses are now numb. Great job, story. <laughs> Oh man, anyway, chapter 7. Bring me to life beyond the new day. I can't wake up. Save me. Wait, 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 wait. wait. We're naming the chapters now? Well, that's kind of inconsistent. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Author's note. Well, okay, you guys. I'm only writing this because I got by God re reviews. <laughs> And <laughs> they were they were godlike reviews. <laughs> <laughs> so goddamn godlike. <laughs> and by the way, I won't write the next chapter till I get ten god bonds. If you want ten <laughs> god bonds, go to the drugstore then. Go to bonds then. <laughs> So stop and stop, stop flaming or I'll report you, Ebony. Gosh, again, he can't pronounce your character right. Isn't a Mary Sue okay? She isn't perfect. She's a Satanist. A Satanist. And she has problems and she's depressed. For God's sake. You know that? <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. You know, that would have been nice to bring up, though, sometime in your story. And mm -hmm. also, I will have mm. to say, because you know what the term Mary Sue is? Mm. Uh, Mary Sue, um, to put it in a... To, um, roughly speaking, uh, in a simple way, a Mary Sue is basically the... Um, it's basically a way of calling a character who is essentially perfect and flawless. Mm. So... Many people are essentially calling her character flawless, as in, you know, just the perfect character, the perfect protagonist for the story. To which I have to say, no, no, this character <laughs> is, this character <laughs> is just, this character has problems. And not, and Everybody not, in this alternate universe of the wizarding world has problems. <laughs> in an interesting way that makes her a compelling character like the author intended. No, no, no. This character is just... 
it speaks for itself. These characters are just horribly, 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 horrible. It's horrible. I don't know. Just go oh. right ahead. Go right ahead. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway. Draco and I held our pale white hands with black nail polish as we went upstairs. I was wearing, here we go again, red mm. Satan and sings on my nails in red nail polish. Author's nails. See, does that sound like a Mary Sue, Maru Sue to you? I waved to <laughs> I'm I wasn't I wasn't aware being a Satanist I wasn't aware being a Satanist defied you for being a flawly written character. I this reading this fan fiction has just lowered my intellectual intestines that I cannot even convey a sentence correctly. Okay, go right ahead. Just finish this crap so I can get away from it. I waved to Vampire Potter. Dark misery was in his depressed eyes. I guess he was jealous of me that I was going out with Draco. Anyway, I went upstairs exactly with Draco. We went to his, into his room and locked the door. Then... Oh he no, started, oh no. Oh god, oh god, here we go. He started Frenching passively. Wait, 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 I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt you. I, I apologize, Ernesto, but you, how do you French passively? <laughs> uh, I was gonna say that. How? <laughs> that's, that's like saying, that's like saying. Hold on. That's like saying I slowly sprinted down the room. Like, you you can't do that. You can't. <laughs> oh my I, or, god. Or, or or saying like I dimly turned the lights on and brought light to the room. Like no, no. Did, did this person whoever wrote this just skip school or something? Did she drop out? I. <laughs> Uh, I guess she, I guess she's got an F on her English classes, or oh my god, or, and social studies. Anyway, <laughs> we started Frenching passively. Doesn't make any sense. And we took off each other's clothes enthusiastically. <laughs> okay, we really really had to know that. We really had to know. What amount of emphasis they did that? Go right ahead, go right ahead. It's so much big words, even for her. <laughs> he felt, he felt me up before I took my top. Then I took off my black leather bra, and he took off his pants. Well, you, you're, we not, you're not going to describe what he's wearing. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's like, it doesn't matter what other people are wearing, it matters what she's gonna wear. <laughs> exactly. A, a good example of a Mary Sue is all like, oh, let me explain what perfect, what clothing she's wearing. While well, everyone's like, oh, she's just wearing a plain t-shirt with some black jeans. Really? Uh, oh my... Okay, I, I heard a crazy driver outside. I, I, for a second, I thought there was like about to be. I thought there was a car wreck about to start. Oh my god! <laughs> we went to the bed and started making out naked. Well, fuck, that's god. making okay. <clears throat> anyway, and then he put his boy's thingy in mine. So you have a boy thingy too? Oh, oh god! <laughs> Yay! Oh, I wouldn't even thought of that. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking at it like his voice thingy and mine. Like, yo, you have one too. Oh god. Oh, oh it, it makes too it's, much it's, sense it's, now. It, it's 2019. I'm not. I'm. I don't judge you. Carry oh. on. <laughs> and we had sex. See, is oh. that stupid? Y yes. 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 You have yes. to ask. <laughs> oh, Draco. Oh, Draco. I screamed while getting an orgasm when all of a sudden I saw a tattoo. 
I had never seen before on Draco's arm. It was a black heart with an arrow through it. On it in bloody gothic writing were the words I was so on the words vampire. Vampire! I was vampire! Vampire! I'm a va vampire! 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 <laughs> I was so angry. You bastard! I shouted angrily, jumping out of the bed. But my parents oh, were no. married. <laughs> no, no, but you don't understand, Draco pleaded, but I knew too much. No, you fucking idiot, I shouted. You probably have AIDS anyway. Wait, wait, hold on. What? Hold on, hold on. What? I, okay, I want another, I want to stop here for another gripe. Um, it, it, okay, so it has a tattoo that says vampire. Clearly, it's it, it's supposed to be referring to Harry Potter or whatever, but here's my question. The thing says vampire. It could mean anything! How do you know it means the fucking Harry Potter dude? <laughs> when you have a name as generic as vampire... <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it could be like, the, how do you not know it's not referring to you since you are a gasp? Vampire? How do you not know it's you? You stupid! <laughs> I, think the, I, I think the impact of the scene probably would have been more effective had it say, like, HP or Harry or Potter or whatever. <laughs> oh my god. But anyway, what, what you, were you going to say something about the AIDS part? Okay. So, not... Oh my god. So, apparently having a, a, a tattoo saying vampire, you get AIDS. I guess. Anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway. In, in, the context, put, um, in the context of this story, though, by AIDS, they're probably talking about, like, being helpful, or actually doing something good, or uplifting, or not ultimately depressing, edgy, harmful stuff. I just... I feel so, I feel so alone and cold. I just, I, I, I can't, I can't take this anymore. I'm so alone and nobody understands me. And my mom's calling in a phase. It's not a phase, mom. This is who I am. I really like this on the inside. You can't judge me. You can't tell me who I am. I've liked this from the start. I'm going to make my own choices. I'm going to go from here. I'm going to go forward from this point. Fuck you, mom. Fuck you. <laughs> Oh I, think I, I, I think I went a little too far there. Anyway, continue. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're good, good. Anyway, I put on my clothes all huffly, and then I then stomped out. Baker ran out even though he was naked. He had a really big you-know-what. Big you-know-what, but I was Penis, too mad. just say it! <laughs> but I was too mad to care. I stomped out and did so until I was in Vampire's classroom where he was having a lesson with Professor Snape and some other people. Vampire Potter, you motherfucker! Hope, hope you fucking die like your mom and your dad, Potter! <laughs> I wonder, good job, good job right here. <laughs> ironically to this story, <sighs> not ironically to you, Ernesto. I'm surprised you've been able to make it through here and not lose your mind like I have. <laughs> Dude, I think I've lost a couple brain cells reading this terribly, terribly, terrible story. <laughs> Anyway, um, chapter 8. Uh, by the way, we're gonna go on to chapter 12 and then we're calling it. Yeah. Anyway, chapter 8. Author's notes. Stop fessing me, okay? If you do, then you are a uh, prep. Alright, alright, okay. X, 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 X. You're a prep, alright? But I love you all. Devil number all. <laughs> <laughs> Hugs and kisses! <laughs> mwah, mwah. Uh, anyway, anyway. 
Everyone in the class stared at me, and then Draco came into the room even though he was naked and started begging me to take him back. Weren't you naked too? Are you willing to tell me you you dressed, you got all your clothes back on while you stormed off? Well, I mean, in the last chapter it said that she started putting her clothes back all huffily. Oh, okay, sorry, okay, I, my, my bad, thank you for that. Anyway, um, Ebony, it's not what you think! Draco screamed sadly. <laughs> My <laughs> friend, B. Lottie Mary Smith, smiled at me understandingly. She flipped her long, waist-long, gothic black hair and opened her chrismic eyes like blood that she was wearing contactless lens on. Does everybody here wear red contact lenses? Ugh. Anyway, she, she had pale white skin that she was wearing white makeup on. Her... Hermione, Hermione, I'm probably mispronouncing that. It's he Hermione, Hermione, Her <clears throat> Hermione. Hermione, ah, Hermione, okay. Hermione was kidnapped when she was born. Her real parents are vampires, and one of them is a witch. But Voldemort killed her mother, and her father committed suicide because he was very depressed about it. Of course, of, co of course. Oh uh, my of, god. Of course. In the story, they were still alive. Wow. Oh my god. Really? That's just freaking. That's just stupid. Oh. That is. And, and of course he had. To I, 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 I believe one of them is actually is, is a wizard, I, I or a witch, and one of them is actually a what a, a muggle or something. <clears throat> um, but uh, I don't know. And this is the problem with this story. Apparently, everyone is a vampire. A damn. Uh, yeah. The part of the universe of the of the wizarding world. I don't know. It's like you know having mo different multiverses where this one is. Everyone's a vampire in this damn story. Anyone could get in. Every any vampire could get into Hogwarts. I guess. <laughs> yes. It was not by my hand that I was once again given flesh. I was called <laughs> by emos who wished to pay me tribute. Emos. You steal their souls and make them your, and make them write terrible fan fiction. Perhaps all can be said about every inter about every interpretation. <laughs> your your words are as empty as your fan fiction. Mankind ill needs a writer such as you. <laughs> <God. laughs> what is a reader? A miserable little pile of spoiledness. But at the talk, <laughs> read my garbage. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's like the tenth time we've made that joke and it has not gone old yet. <laughs> it has to. <laughs> anyway, con continuing on for <laughs> continuing onwards. <laughs> Anyway, so Father had to kill himself because he had to, I guess. <laughs> she still has nightmares about it, and she is very haunted and depressed. It also turns out that her real last name is Smith, not Granger. 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 Gran Granger. 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 Granville. I don't know. <laughs> She, since, she, since she has converted to Satanism, she is now a Cyaner? Cyaner? I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm, I don't I, know. A, a Slytherner, I don't know. She is now a Slytherin now, not a Gryffindor. Oh, a, yeah, she's a Slytherin now, not a Gryffindor. She's a Slytherin, not a Gryffindor, not a Peter Gryffindor. Oh. By the, by the context of this story, I wouldn't be surprised if Gryffindor was a religion made by Peter Griffin. <laughs> uh. Anyway. What is it that you desire, you ridiculous dipwit? Snape demeanedly, angrily in his cold voice, but I ignored him. <clears throat> Vampire! I can't believe you're cheating on me with Draco! I shouted at him. Everyone gasped! I don't know why Ebony was so mad at me. I had went out with a vampire. I'm bi, and so is Ebony. <laughs> Alright then. 
Because apparently we needed to know that. Uh, I, I, I wasn't... Uh, fuck it, fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop making sense of this. For a while, but then he broke my heart. He dumped me because he liked Britney. A stupid preppy fucker. How dare she be happy and plucky and actually feel good about the world. Uh, the despicable slime ball. Don't you all know that we're all gonna die in the end? What's the point about feeling good? Everything should be miserable and low cut and poor and miserable and. God. I know. I'm sorry. Am I getting too bitchy about this? <laughs> nope. I think you're perfectly fine. <laughs> anyway. anyway uh, we're just good friends now. I really hope to God later on your kids do not watch this and read. <laughs> did not, they, I hope your kids don't watch this and listen to my absurd ranting. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's all good. <laughs> they'll, they'll understand why. <laughs> he had gone through horrible problems, and now he was gothic. Haha, <laughs> I like to hang out with a prep. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip. <clears throat> oh god. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't want to cough a loogie while during the recording. But I'm not going out with Draco anymore, said Vampire. Yeah, fucking right. Fuck off, you bastard. I screamed. I ran out of the room and into the forbidden forest where I have lost my virility. I know. I guess you. I, I think she meant to say virginity. I, I know what she meant. And. <laughs> <laughs> For the context of the story, I, I I don't think that's true. I think she lost her virginity way before that incident. Yeah. <laughs> right? Anyway, anyway, I have lost my virility to Draco, and then I started to burst into tears. <laughs> anyway, go right ahead. <laughs> Chapter 9. On. Stop flaming, okay? I didn't read out of the box. <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> this is from the movie, okay? So it's not my fault if Dumbledore swears. Yes, it is. It is all your fault. Every little bit of this that is wrong about this is you to blame. Oh my god, dude, I love reading the off so much. <laughs> <laughs> Bizu. <laughs> Do you need a moment, man? <laughs> I'm glad one person here is having fun. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm just losing it. This, oh my god. I just... I love... No matter... <laughs> no matter what many times we complain about our author's note. Oh my god. They're so much fun to read. Oh my... You cannot read them without a straight... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> okay, okay. <clears throat> I said he had a headache, and the reason Snap doesn't like. Harry, now is cause he's Christian and Vampire is a Satanist. My comical romance rocks. Devil's number. Are you implying? Are you implying Vampire and Harry are different characters? Cause I would not be surprised that you made that mistake. So you're implying that Snape is a Christian and that Harry Potter is a Satanist and. All right, sure, we'll roll with it. <laughs> we'll roll with it. Anyway, <clears throat> I was so mad and sad. 
I couldn't believe Draco for cheating on me. I began to cry against the tree where I did it with Draco. Then all of a sudden, un -hor unhorribly, you only put a n when the next word begins with a v with a. Fuck this fucking mo story made me dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you only put an A in when the next word begins with a vowel. Oh yeah, vowel. There you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm glad I made that right. <laughs> anyway, an horrible gnat with red eyes and no nose and everything suddenly flying towards me on the broomstick. He didn't have a nose. Basically like Voldemort. And he was wearing all black, but it was obviously he wasn't gothic. It was Voldemort. You, you just spoiled it a line before this. <laughs> For real. Kind of kills the impact. <laughs> oh, man. No! I shouted in the scared voice. But then Voldemort shouted, Imperius! And I couldn't run away. Crookshank, Crookshanks, I shouted at him. Crookshanks, why would you shout Crookshanks at him? Voldemort fell on off his broomstick and know. started to scream. I felt bad for him even though I'm, I'm a sadist, so I stopped. What? Ebony, he yelled, what? thou must. What? Kill what? Vampire what? Potter. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't get this. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, it hurts to laugh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I thought about Vampire and his sexy eyes and his gothic black hair. And how his face looks like Joel Madden. <laughs> I remember that Draco had said I didn't understand. So I thought, what if Draco went out with a vampire before? I went out with him and they broke up. No, Voldemort, I shouted back. Voldemort gave me a gun. No, please, I begged. Thou must, he yelled. If thou does not, then I shall kill thy beloved Draco. How did you know? I asked him in a surprise way. Voldemort got up. Dude, you're so retarded, look. Wow, wow. <laughs> what, it took us this long to finally get a reaction like that. <laughs> in his face, I has telekinesis. If you have, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, no, 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 don't even, don't even explain it, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> he answered cruelly, and if you doth not kill vampire, then thou, no, thou what will happen to Draco. He shouted, then he flew away angrily in his broomstick. Since when did Voldemort had a broomstick? <clears throat> I guess before he be before he became Voldemort. Freaking. Anyway, I was so scared and mad that I did. He's not capable of having a broomstick. He could literally teleport anywhere he wants to. Um, he God. must. He got a broomstick the same time Harry changed his name to Vampire. I guess. <laughs> right. I was so scared and mad. I didn't. Know do suddenly draco came into the woods is he naked <laughs> yeah, i would not be surprised if he was still naked <laughs> draco i said hi <laughs> hi he said back with his face was all sad he was wearing white foundation and messy eyeliner kind of like a pentagram get it no between no <laughs> i don't get it how can you wear eyeliner like a pentagram <sighs> Between Joel Madden and Gerard Way. Are you okay? I asked. No, he answered. I'm sorry I got all mad at you, but I thought you cheated on. I expelled. So I expelled? 
I expelled. <clears throat> I, got, I got expelled after, after this whole event. I... <laughs> <sighs> That's okay, he said, all depressed. We went back into Hogwarts together, making out. So you guys were making out while we're going back to Hogwarts, huh? Not, not even looking. <sighs> not even looking. They went down the perfect path. <laughs> <laughs> like a Mary Sue. Anyway, uh, okay. <laughs> We're almost done. <laughs> anyway. For <Fun> now. <laughs> We're almost done. Three chapters to go. Chapter 10. Author's note. Stimp it, you gay fags. If you don't like my story, uh, but I thought you said you were bi. Why are you accusing us of being gay? <laughs> <sighs> if you oh do not God. look my story, then fuck off. <laughs> it turns out be lucky Mary isn't a mogul. Efforter, 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 Al, and she and Vampire are evil. That's why they's moved houses, okay? What? Why do you even read your own writing? <laughs> God, man. Okay, are you okay, man? Do you want to take a break? Yeah. I, I'm good. Go, go ahead. Okay. It's just, I just don't want the story to kill us. <laughs> Alright, just go. Just go. Alright, X X X X X six whatever. I was really scared about Voldemort all day. I was even a little upset when we went to rehearsal with my gothic middle band bloody gothic rose 666. Totally not over, overly melodramatically insane edgy that no one's gonna think is stupid. But whatever. I'm the lead sitter of it, and I play guitar. People say that we sound like a cross between the GC, Slipknot, and MCR. The other people in the band are Bolotny, Mary, Vampire, Draco, Ron, although we call him Diablo. Diablo, though, now. <laughs> <laughs> Diablo now. He has black Diablo hair. Diablo Bolo. Diablo Bolo. <laughs> Diablo Bolo. How are you doing, Diablo Bolo? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like an Italian way of saying Diablo. <laughs> anyway. <All> right. <sighs> anyway. Where the hell was I? I lost my place. All right, here we go. He he has black hair with blue streaks now in it. Does everybody have black hair? Oh my god. And Hagrid. Only today, Draco and Vampire were depressed, so they weren't coming, and we wrote songs instead. I knew Draco was probably slitting his wrist, and he wouldn't die because he was a vampire too. And that's and the only way you can kill a vampire is with a cross. There's no way I am writing that. I I I, I what? You're okay with saying all this other vulgar, satanic, gothic, emo bullshit, but cross is where you're drawing the line. You're not gonna. I guess. You're not gonna cross that line. I don't care how bad that pun was. It's fuck, 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 fuck you, fuck you, author, for your stupid, stupid thing. I'm not even. I'm not even. Ugh. I can't even finish my thoughts while reading this thing. Uh, do you want, I'm not gonna give you I'm not gonna give you a crappy story the time of day. I'm just gonna breeze through this. Or or a steak. I know they meant to say streak, but I'm gonna say steak. Because why the hell not? <laughs> why not? <laughs> the story is already stupid enough as is. You can kill a vampire with a steak. <laughs> Just slap them! Slap them! Boom! There you go! Anyway, a vampire was probably watching a depressing movie, like The Corpse Bride. I haven't seen that movie, but apparently from what I've heard, that movie isn't depressing, so, uh... It isn't. It isn't at all. I mean, sure yeah. It's directed, sure, it's directed by Tim Burton, but that thing wasn't depressing. 
uh, I don't know. Maybe she says it's maybe she says it's depressing because it has a gothic art style. To which I have to say, dude, not everything that's gothic has to be depressing. Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway. Laughter is medicine. I, I gotta laugh more. Don't get disgusted with this. I put on a black leather shirt that showed off my boobs and a tiny matching miniskirt that said simple plan on the butt. You might think I'm a slut, but I'm really not. Well, what, 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 what are you implying by that point? You're gonna dress, if you're dressing whorish, people are gonna think you are acting like a whore, thus people are getting the impression that you might be a whore. So don't dress up like a whore if you don't want people to think you are a whore. <laughs> you stupid fuck. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh God. We were singing a cover of Helen, and at the end of the song, I suddenly burst into tears. Ebony, are you okay? Bloody Mary asked in a concentrated voice. What the fuck do you think? I asked angrily. And then I said, well, Voldemort came in and the fucking bastard told me to fucking kill Harry. But I don't want to kill him because he is really nice. And even though he did go out with Draco. But if I don't kill Harry, then Voldemort will fucking kill Draco. I busted into tears. Suddenly, Draco jumped out from behind the wall. Why didn't you fucking tell me, man? He shouted. <laughs> How could you? You, you fucking poser, bungle bitch! See, is that out of character? Yes, it is. It is very out of character. <laughs> yes. I started to cry and cry and cry. I could not stop a crying. Draco started to cry too, all sensibly. Then he ran out crying. We practiced for one more hour, and then suddenly Dumbledore, 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 whatever, I don't care. Then suddenly Dumbledore walked in all angrily. His eyes were all fiery, and I knew this time it was because he had a headache. What have you done? <laughs> he suddenly started to cry wildly. <laughs> 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 See, that's basically not swearing at this time. He was really at such. And you will see why. Ebony Draco has been found in his room. He committed suicide by slitting his wrist. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, 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 no! You just said you can't die from cutting your wrist! And he... he died from cutting his wrist! Continuity! Consistency! It is not probably really hard to listen to. <laughs> I'm sorry for my whining and bitching. It's all good. Oh, oh man. my god. I'm gonna be listening to this and editing and just thinking, good god. What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> anyway, oh, man. It, your turn. Alright, chapter 11. <laughs> Author's... Author, no. I said stop flaming, you pre... Uh, Preps. See, if this chapter is stupid, one, 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 it deals with really serious issues. See for yourself if it's stupid, bro. Thanks to my friend Raven for helping me. <laughs> Thank you, Raven, for agreeing to help do this. You, <laughs> you're a trooper, girl. You really are. Good job. Definitely. No! I screamed. I was horrified. Bloody... I... 
<laughs> I burped. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, that's the most sane thing that's happened all night. <laughs> Bloody Mary tried to comfort me, but I told her, fuck off. And I ran into my room crying myself. Wow, what a bitch. Oh, I know. Bloody Mary, get a new friend. <laughs> Dumbledore chased after me, shouting, but he had to stop when I went into my room because he would look like a perv that way. No, Any no, no, <laughs> no. <he wouldn't. laughs> nope. Anyway, I started crying tears of blood. And then I slit both my wrists. They got all over my clothes, so I took them off and jumped into the bath angrily while I put on the lid at full volume. I grabbed the stake and almost stuck it into my heart to commit suicide. I was so fucking depressed. I got out of the bathtub and put on a black low cut dress. And now she's telling us what she's gonna wear. You're about Before to kill she's... yourself, and you cannot do it without describing your fucking outfit. <laughs> Black low-cut dress with late... It's sandly. I put on black high... <laughs> sandly. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh dear god. I... I put on black high heels with pink metal stuff on the ends of six pairs of skull earrings. I couldn't fucking believe it. Then I took out the window and screamed. Snap was spying on me and he was taking a videotape of me. What? Why? <laughs> and Lupin was mess... Master training to it. You want to know? It was you... masturbating. Wow. But no, 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 no. You see that word? That word is masticating. You want to know what masticating means? Oh, it's masticating. I thought it was masturbating. I'm like, what well, the it, fuck? no. She meant to say masturbating, but it's spelled masticating. You want to know what masticating means? What? Grinding. He was grinding. His... Grinding. He was grinding oh. his dick. Wow! Oh my god. <clears throat> wow. To it, they were sitting on their broomsticks. Ew, you fucking perv! Stop looking at me naked! Are you pedos or what? I screamed, putting on a black towel with a picture of Marilyn. <laughs> if I knew this girl, I would never, <laughs> never want to see her! <laughs> my life if she was this <laughs> fucking stupid oh my god dude with a picture of Marilyn Manson on suddenly vampire ran in abracadabra he yelled at Snape and Lupin pointing his womb I took my gun and shot Snape and Lupin a gazil gazillion times so you shot them a gazillion times Despite whatever gun you have, so happens to have a gazillion bullets. Okay, it's it's the wizarding world. It could probably happen. I'm not I'm not questioning it. Move on. A gazillion times, and they both started screaming. And the camera suddenly, Dumbledore ran in. Ebony, it has been revealed that someone has no. He shouted, looking at Snap and Lupin, and then he waved his wand, and suddenly Hagrid ran outside to his broom and said, Everyone, we need to talk. What do you know, Hagrid? You're just a little hog student. I may be a hog. I may be a Hogwarts student, despite him being um, much, much older. Hagrid paused angrily, but I am also a Satanist. That is nothing to be proud of. <laughs> this cannot be, Snap said in a crisp voice as blood dripped from his hands where Dumbledore's wand had shot him. There must be other factors. How are they not dead? 
I do not know. <laughs> you don't have any. I yelled madly. Lupin held up the camera triumphantly. The lens may be but the tape is still there. She I shot felt... them a, she, she shot them a gazillion times. But it's okay. The camera survived. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where am I at? Oh yeah, I felt faint more than I normally do, like how it feels when you do not drink enough blood. Why are you doing this? Lupin said angrily while he rubbed his dirty hands on his clock. Wow. <clears throat> clock. His clock. He, he, his... He, happened, he happened to have a clock around and he was just nice cleaning it over. He figured while he was doing it, he might as well clean his own clock. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then I heard the words that I had heard before, but not from him. I did not know whether I did not know whether to feel shocked and happy or to bite him and drink his blood because I felt faint. Because because Grizz said and he paused in the air dramatically, waving his hand in the air. And soup <laughs> he is singing a tune of a gothic version of a song by 50 Cent. <laughs> Sorry, 50 Cent fans. <laughs> oh god. There's a gothic version of fifth of a 50 Cent song? I wanna hear this. I do too. Why the fuck? I don't I don't even like rap and I wanna hear this. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> I'm in the club. I can take it to the candy shop. <laughs> it probably would sound something like that. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. For real. <laughs> I can make you look so lovely, pop. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> Cause your gothic snap ass in a little afraid voice. Cause he was afraid. It meant he was connected to with Satan. Because I love her. Who loves her? Does Snape love her? I, I, I'm guessing. Or in this case, Snap. Are Hagrid? What? I think it's Hagrid that said it. Okay. Alright, last chapter. For wish the night. <laughs> wish us luck. <laughs> okay. Alright, author's note. Stop the airing. Okay. Hagrid is a pito too. A lot of pull in American schools. Right. Are like that. I want to erase that issue. How did the snake ain't Christianity plus Hagrid isn't really in love with Ebony? Okay, so now you can spell your character's name right. <laughs> that was. What? Centric? What, what does she even need to type there? <laughs> Cent centric? Centric? Okay? I, I just... I, fuck it. Fuck it. I was about to slip my wrist again when the silver knife that Draco had given to me in case anything happened to him. He had told me to vividly use it against an enemy, but I knew that we must go together. No! I thought it was ha hair grit. But then it was vampire. He started to scream. No. Oh my fucking god! No! My scar hurts! And then his eyes rolled up. You could only see his red whites. I stopped. How did you know? I saw it. But my scar turned back into a lightning bolt. No! I ran up to him. I thought you didn't have a scar anymore. I shouted. I do, but Diablo changed it into a pentagram for me, and I always covered it up with foundation, he shouted back. Um, okay, um, so, I, uh, this might break the pace of the story, but can, I have a little story to tell you. Is, is it alright if I bring it up? Go, go ahead. 
Okay, so, um, uh, without going into very much detail, my parents are divorced, and my dad, uh, he has a lot of problems, I will say. But, uh, anyway. So, uh, my dad's friend, um, recently, um, my dad's friend, uh, his wife recently passed away. So, while they, so, they were having a funeral, he invited my dad, and for whatever the hell reason, my dad thought it would be a good idea to wear a pentagram there. What the hell? Yes, you heard it right. My my dad decided it would be a good idea to wear a pentagram to a funeral. And it's not and it's not like these people are goss or crazy like the people in the story. These are your regular everyday average Joes. And he thought it would be a good idea to wear a pentagram there to a funeral. Dad, what the fuck? What the fuck, indeed? What the fuck? Why? Why? I'm, I'm sorry. I know this. I know this might seem very. I know this might seem very out of left field or whatever. But all these talk, all this, this, all this talk of pentagrams and stuff like that just keeps reminding me of that story. And just, it's, it, it's just, it's revolved around the stupid logic. It's just revolved around this weird, messed up, stupid, satanic logic that only this story could provide me. It's just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just, moving on. It's all good, yeah, dude, that's a, wow. I don't fucking know. pentagram to a fucking funeral. I don't know. I guess, yeah. I don't know, I don't know why the hell I told you about this story. I guess it, I, it's guess, all... it, I guess it was fitting. It's all good, no worries. Uh, well... <laughs> Somebody's, if anybody makes it this far into the video and listens to that, they're going to be thinking, Peter, what the fuck? Is your family, <laughs> is your family screwed up or something? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, well, anyway, moving on. Okay. So, okay, where the hell was I? Um, it's turning into a pentagram, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. It turned into a pentagram, like, blah, 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 blah. Then I had official what's happened to me. Da, 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 da. Voldemort had it in a bondage, whatever. <coughs> anyway, I was at the school nurse's office, now re recovering from my slit wrist. Snap and Lupin and Heron were there. They were going to St. Margo's after they recovered because they were pedophiles. Okay, because apparently pedophiles is a worse crime than shooting someone a gazillion times. Whatever. And you can't have those fucking pervs teaching in a school with a lot of hot girls. <laughs> sure, because because only you would write that, author. <laughs> Dumb Dumbledore had constipate had constipa constipated. I'm guessing she means cons compensated, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if by constipated he ate the tape and he just couldn't get it out when going to the bathroom or something. I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't know. <laughs> After he had constipated the video camera that they took of me naked, I put my middle finger up to them to show them that I was Robin Hood. And I could shoot arrows at them any time I wanted to. Alright. Anyway, Hagrid came into my hospital bed holding a banquet of pink roses. Okay, why is she in the hospital again? Did I miss something? Uh, she first, because she slit her wrists. She does that all the time. Why would slitting her wrists now put her in the hospital? <laughs> uh, I don't fucking know. Anyway, a hospital bed holding a banquet of pink roses. At Annabi, I need to talk to you something, he said in a V. He said in a V? What's what's a V? Hello? Okay, okay. Okay. Uh never mind. Um he said in a V. What 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 does he mean? Oh, whatever. Serious voice giving me the roses. Fuck off, I told him. You know I fucking hate the color pink anyway. You have worn <laughs> pink clothes! <laughs> Why are you wearing pink if you hate pink? <laughs> you stupid <laughs> fucking bitch! I'm 
ungrateful bitch indeed, dude. Oh. God. You stupid. I don't like fucking fucked up preps like you. I snap. <laughs> Hagrid has been mean to me before he became gothic. No, and the bee, Hagrid said, those are not roses. They're. I don't know. They're piranha plants. <laughs> he gave her piranha plants. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. What? Are they goofs too? You poser prep. I asked because I was angry that he brought me pink roses. I saved your life! He yelled angrily. No, you didn't! I replied. You saved me from getting a Paris Hilton pink video made from your shower scene and being viewed, viewed by Snape Snap, I guess his name's Snap and Lupin who masturbated oh thank god she said it right see, <laughs> is that spelled wrong? no, no, no I will agree with you, that is, that is not spelled wrong although I will disagree and say that it is not spelled wrong what, like, what's a wrong? Uh, Ernesto, serious question. Do you know what a wrong is? A wrong? A wrong. An R-O-N-G. Do you know what a wrong is? No, I don't. Neither do I. I'll have to look <laughs> it up after this. <laughs> to it, he added science silently. Whatever! <laughs> I yelled angrily. Wait a minute, hold on. Whatever, I yelled angrily. Wait, she just got done saying, like, that last line, and now she yells whatever angrily? Wait, wait, from this line, this whatever line, it's implying he said something to her, and she's saying whatever as a reply. So why did she, like, just start this whole par- why did she just say this whole thing, and then go to a separate line that just says whatever? That is, that is poor format of your story writing. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm grasping at straws at this point. He pointed his wand at the pink roses. These aren't roses. He suddenly looked at them with an evil look in his eyes and muttered, Well, if you wanted honestly, that's all you had to say. That they were... What? Was that a quote? Like, did that, was that Spinky said? Whatever. That's not a spell. That's an that's a My Chemical Romance song. I corrected him wisely. <laughs> I know. I was just warming up my vocal cords. Then he screamed, "Pitiless! My carigo, me camigalo romancoco!" For all you cool cough MCR fans out there, there that is a tribute specifically for Raven. I love you, girl. In my opinion. No mato okay -o. <laughs> And then the roses turned into a huge black flame floating in the middle of the air and it was black. Now I knew it wasn't a prep. Okay, I believe you now. What the fuck is Draco? <laughs> Her Hagrid rolled his eyes. I looked into the ball of flames, but I could see nothing. You see Abby, doubly, doubly door said. <laughs> watching the two of us watching the flame to see which is the flames. Ha ha ha! You viewers, flames, get it? No. You missed, missed it. Find yourself first, K. Okay? I had found myself okay, you mean old man? Ha Hagrid yelled. <laughs> the ability door looked shocked. I guess he didn't have a headache or he would have said something back. No, he doesn't have a spine because in your perfect world, the authority figures don't rightfully punish you. <laughs> Hair Grid stormed off back into his bed. You are a liar, Professor Dumb Double Door, Double Door, Double D. 
<laughs> anyway, I got I got better. I went upstairs and put on a black leather mini dress. But they, they were all ripped up in the end with a lace on. And Black high heel boots with pictures of Billy B- Billy Joe Armstrong in them. I put my hair all around the feet so I look like Sambora from the ring. If you don't know who she is, you are a prince of fuck up. And I put on black, blood, red lipstick, black, red, 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 red lip gloss. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I I I I could I am very I admire you for being able to listen to all my mindless yelling. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna look back at this and think what? I'm gonna look back at this and be embarrassed as all hell. <laughs> all right, <laughs> you look kawaii, girl. But Lutty Mary said sadly, "Oh my god, you look kawaii, girl." Thanks, get it? Yes, yes, you've said thanks 20 times. I think I get it by this point. You do too, I said sadly too. But I was still upset. I slipped both my wrists. Because why? why? Because that's just what I do. I, I slipped both my wrists, feeling totally depressed, and I sucked up all the blood. It, you're drinking your own blood? What? <laughs> you fucking... What are you, a sadomasochist? <laughs> uh, I, w- I wouldn't be surprised if she said she was a sadomasochist. Ugh. I cried to get in my bathroom and put on the shades on so Snap and Lupin couldn't spy on me this time. Oh my god. I really hope sh- by shade she's talking in the fucking shower curtains and not sunglasses because if she's talking about sunglasses so snap and lupin couldn't spy on her then then i don't know (laughs) my brain is turning off (laughs) do you want me to finish do you want me to finish it go right ahead you've you've been the mpp of this session go right ahead my dude all right where where are you at um i'm i'm right here i went to some all right. <clears throat> I went to some classes. Vampire was in the hair of magic magic creatures. How many how much how magical can they be? He looked all depressed because Draco had disappeared and he used to be in love with Draco. He was sucking some blood from Hufflepuff. What Hufflepuff? Like from a Hufflepuff? Oh, okay, I see, yeah. A Hufflepuff. Hi, he said in a depressed, oh, hi, depressed way. And then de- hi, ba- in a desperate hi, way. <laughs> <laughs> hi back, I said in the Wakali said way. We don't, we both looked at each other for some time. Harry had beautiful red gothic eyes, so much like Draco's then. We jumped on each other and started screwing each. Wow. I am sh- wow! I should, I should not you're you're gr- you're grieving over your your boyfriend who's killed himself, and then you jump to his ex, and and you say you're not a whore. You fucking you deserve everything bad that's coming to you. You fucking horrible horrible ebony character. Now I'm saying this. I'm not I'm not saying this to the author. I'm saying this to the character. For the record. <laughs> Stop it now, you horny simpletons," said Professor McGillicuddy. <laughs> McGoogle? <laughs> <laughs> McGoogle now, who was watching us, and so was everyone else. Vampire, you fucker! I stole no, no. vampire, vampire, you fucker! I said, slapping him. Stop trying to screw me. You know I love Draco. Oh, I fuck shouted. you. Fuck <laughs> you. Fuck every fiber in your stupid, mindless, or hoary, edgy body. You stupid Mary Sue, entitled, in, in, in significantly insensitive bitch. <laughs> 
Oh my god, dude. I shouted and then ran away angrily. And then he started to scream, Oh my fucking god, no, my scar hurts. And then he rolled up, his eyes rolled up. You could only see his red whites. No, I ran up closer. I thought you didn't have a scar any. Wait, and, this wait. Is what it, and this is what, and this is the confusing part too. I do not, I do, but Di, Diabolo sounds like a freaking STD. Diabolo changed it, changed it into a pentagram for me, and I was also always covered it up in with foundation. He said back. Anyway, my skull hurts, and then I had a vision of what was going to happen, was happening to Draco. Vol Volvamort, Volvamort has him in bondage. Wait, 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 that was just like the, you just copied that whole, you just copied this whole section from the previous chapter. Yeah, so this whole point that other parts were freaking flashbacks or something, before that moment, I don't fucking Oh god. Special fangs to Raven, my gothic blood sister. What the fuck are you're supposed to write this? One 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 one. Hey Raven, do you know where my sweater is? I... You, you you lost your sweater. You're probably the your the sweater's lost and you are in it. You lost your sweater and you are in it. Feel free to come up with any conclusion you want from that joke I just made. <laughs> anyway, this will be concluding tonight's session of My Immortal. We will be continuing next time, chapter 13 through probably the whole thing, since we're practically almost finished, this only has 22 chapters. Oh, and uh, it, it goes on to 42 chapters. Oh, okay. Well, maybe 13 to 22, I guess. <laughs> or 20 or something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. And hey, and like all great fan fictions, this one was never even finished. <laughs> like, yeah, from what I've heard, this whole story was being continuously, you know, written and everything. And I guess the last chapter is left with some type of, you know, like, is left to be continued, but the person there finished it. <laughs> I guess she got tired. I guess she got tired. <laughs> she, she grew up and realized what she was writing. She's like, what the fuck was I writing this whole time? <laughs> she probably would have those type of, she probably had one of those interventions. Oh my god, did I actually write this? <laughs> she had an epip she had an epiphany. Like from like right now, what she's thinking is doing cool though, but in a few years you're gonna think it's stupid. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh final thoughts before we conclude this? Oh so far, freaking very stupid story. Something the worst. I I I didn't capable of reading writing something this so so terrible. Like, oh my god, it was just so damn terrible. There were so many typos. Nothing made sense. And oh my god, the author's note was just. I think the most the best part about the whole damn thing, just hearing her just you know do. Uh, text text message style sentences and just God, dude, I really don't know what this girl was thinking writing this story. I guess it was a good idea to have freaking Harry Potter and the rest of the Wizarding World all emo and vampires. You're right. Yep, yep. I I 100% agree with you. It was it was a decision. That needed to be made. <laughs> anyway. Huh, despite all my bitching, I'm having a good time. I will say that. But anyway. Take care, folks. Hello? Oh, I'm still here. No. Oh. But anyway, I just want to say that despite all my bitching, I am having a good time doing this. <laughs>
But anyway, uh, take care, folks. Laters.